we missed going to Paris um, this month um, because I needed to slow down um, and I wasn't going to do it myself. So the universe actually set my ass your down. Host, Let's start K. there. Brown, AKA I puke Kawhi, AKA the head shop gal in charge here with some more self-improvement over entrepreneurship. Let's All right, get it. Hey gang. So this week's newsletter um, is about the slowing down to go farther paradox. Um, this is a concept that I use a lot and remind people that one of the best things to do um, if you want to be more effective, if you want to be more efficient, is to actually slow down. Like, especially as creatives, um, ADD, um, all of those good things. A lot of times um, with rapid processing or just being able to see like clear vision and it's like you want to get things done like yesterday, you want to build your brand like yesterday, Um, you want to make sure like the visuals are done like yesterday. There's a thing that you have to do is slow down to grow and optimize. So I give the story of Squeak and how I literally missed going to Paris um, this month um, because... I needed to slow down Um, and I wasn't going to do it myself. So the universe actually set my ass down. Let's start there because at the end of the day, um, if you're wondering about me in Paris, what happened was I had my tickets. I did my checklist. I'm ADD as fuck. So (laughs) I keep a checklist for, um, for traveling and for important things that I need to get through. So I did my checklist. Um, made sure I had all the things. And the one thing that I needed to make sure that I had in my hand was um, my passport. Now, when it came down to it, I was able to, or I was requested to go ahead and start putting my information in. I fly Delta. um, And with that, being able to put my information in um, to get like the international documents already ready, all of that good stuff. Very excited. Um, made sure I had my passport in my house and then and I'll show it to you it's here <laughs> but then when I go to enter my documentation and everything something said look at the date now I thought my passport expired in 2022 it expired 2021 um, and I didn't catch it until a few days before I was supposed to fly out now I could have actually rushed and taking the gamble to get um, to get a expedited passport and all of that good stuff. But one, didn't want to pay that money. It's only a gamble, which means that it's not necessarily um, going to do the thing. <laughs> but also, too, something was just like you don't feel like rushing. Like you don't really want to rush this. You don't. You know, I was going for. Um, hanging out with international icons. I'm a part of an international icon um, cohort, um, a group of awesome babes who are like business and branding, like just just out of the water, out of the water. Um, And we're doing a lot of self-discovery through fashion and, you know, activations, like all of these cool things. And I was really, really excited to go and meet some of the people that I've been building with over the past six months. And then that happened. (laughs) So when that happens, um, I felt both sad, but also relieved. I talk about it in the newsletter before, um, newsletter number 11, where I talk about um, literally grieving and having the right to grieve these things. Like, you know, I had the right to grieve not going to Paris. It was a gut punch. Like this was supposed to be my trip after doing a whole uh, little ink play shop in-person event um, for the studio with turn seven. After doing that, rest on my birthday and then on the 13th off to Paris. Like visually, aesthetically, it was a, it was iconic as fuck. Let's just go ahead and keep it real. However, at the end of the day, when it came down to it, it was also just like, I'm relieved. I have a new kitten, um, and she's an orphan kitty, and she was going to need me um, because my fiance doesn't always have the patience for some of the smaller things that she was going to need help with. Um, I was relieved because money. I was also relieved uh, just for time's sake. 
Um, and the fact that this trip also meant that I was going to be doing more content and then I was going to have more stuff to bust down on top of the things I already have to bust down. Long story short, that meant that I needed to take this moment to slow down and I needed to honor that. That's what the universe was telling me, to honor slowing down for growth and optimization. Now, that sounds weird, but also I also preach to um, to people that a lot of times um, people will tell you to do something, but sometimes you just have to slow it down. Like that doesn't mean get it done immediately. It doesn't mean to get it done to completion immediately. It means to actually do something of quality not quantity of quality and sometimes to do things of quality we have to slow down um if you want to go farther you're going to have to slow down you're going to have to optimize every time a business grows you know they have to slow down and put systems into place every time a brand grows or you know they see a, a better a clearer vision of their messaging or there's a shift they have to slow down and actually put that into play like slowing down to optimize is a vibe um most of the time we think more effort equals more progress which isn't always the thing um a lot of times you can try and just you know press forward with all the effort that you want to but sometimes it actually makes your performance a lot worse why because you're not even you know considering slowing down on my team we actually have um i won't say an issue but uh there's a lot of times when um you know like we all have rapid processing we all feel like the thing should be done like right then in a blink of an eye i'm not like i'm not exaggerating my entire team is like that i am like that so i get it but at the same time I also feel like, you know, we have to pace those things. Those things like when you when you try to do more progress, you try and get more progress out of you and your performance starts to suck even more, um, it breeds a lot of anxiety. It breeds a lot of overwhelm and you can't do your best job. You can't perform your best. You can't show up the best for yourself, let alone have that overflow go to other people. So. I don't believe in the, you know, in the more effort means more progress. Um, I believe in the slowing down means means more progress. So the paradox of slowing down to go farther. Um, doing more isn't always better. Uh, if you want to make progress, start by slowing down. Sometimes slowing down looks like organizing your thoughts, having a brain dump, taking time to, you know, do a vision board uh, and see where you want things to go and how you want things to feel and being able to fill them out. Sometimes slowing down literally means just writing things out. For me, slowing down means doodling. So I doodle all my thoughts. I doodle um, funnels, any systems that I'm creating for people. I will slow down and doodle them and have a conversation with myself first. So in this newsletter, I point out that um, slowing down for optimizing and for growth means quality over quantity. That literally means doing things well instead of doing more things. Sustainability of effort, doing the things that you can actually sustain, doing the things that you actually enjoy, and doing the things that you want to keep doing. That it's the biggest dopamine shot ever and I'm a dopamine girl like I like motivators other than that it's what are we here for um I need to access dopamine shots as often as possible because other than that um things get a little low <laughs> and then I don't have motivation to do anything so dangling a carrot or something in front of my face that actually makes me want to do the thing is always a huge thing so doing the things that I want to keep doing intentionality over reactivity um doing what you decided to that you want to do instead of letting others dictate a path for you now in this others can be family it could be friends it could be clients so you know um for me in tattoo as a tattoo artist i don't tattoo everybody i don't take every client i use consultations as a way to actually understand what's going on um, and as a way to really get things going. Um, and so a client can interview me while I'm actually interviewing a client. Um, and 
I'm not going to tattoo anything that I don't want to do because you're not going to get the best result. And I can't allow for a client to actually dictate the things that I want to do. They can tell me their ideas. We can talk about them. And if it's something that I want to do, um, then I will be okay with that. But I choose my pieces. I choose the clients I work with very intentionally. Not only that, but I have my own shit that I come with. Um, and in tattoo, we don't talk a lot about, you know, your tattoo artist as a human. We'll get to that in another one. But we definitely don't talk about our tattoo artist as a human or your tattoo artist as a human. Um, being ADD and how we function through a creative process and still getting the job done. Um, panic attacks mental illnesses or mental instabilities and how you have to manage those things the trauma and or um and and or mental uh misuse um of an artist um and what that looks like in terms of being able to do good business great tattoos um and sometimes just having shitty ass clients so being able to have intentionality over reactivity um open consideration over attachment so doing what's optimal and letting go of attachments of the way things are or the way you think they should be sometimes as artists and creators a lot of times we think or we have a vision of what we want in our head and then we've already micromanaged that vision to the point that you're attached to that vision and that may not be the best way to get something done that may not be the optimal way to get something done that may not be the most efficient way to get something done um but because you're already attached to that vision because you're already attached to that roadmap even though you haven't tried anything else out you haven't considered anything else it makes you want to shut down to not consider anything else so here's what i say slow is smooth and slow is fast slow means that you are going to get things done more intentional you're going to get things done um, smoother and you're going to get things done um, more efficiently which makes everything way more effective Um, so there's that now the thing is is that for a lot of us it's hard to slow down all right so look real talk For a lot of us, it's hard to slow down. Um, We have this narrative in our head that more is better. More means more productive. Um, And it's not really the best way to think. We're we're programmed with that. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We're programmed with that. More, more, more means better, better, better. Um, Quantity does not equal quality. And a lot of times, slowing down is what you have to do when you when you want to reach quality not quantity um how you do something matters just as much as the fact that you can do it or the fact that you do do it so it's not just about getting something done it's always about in the way that you get something done um for us Uh, a lot of times we get things done and when we get things done we'll go back and look at it and streamline some of the more effective and optimal ways to get things done where we'll look at what the headaches were are these headaches that we can minimize all of those things because there's perils to more and more and more so again I can't stress this enough that more effort doesn't always create progress. Slowing you down gives the opportunity to consider alternate approaches, um, which is what I love. So we also have this thing in our company um, for Little Ink Play Shop where we talk about like emoting. So we make space to actually emote, to actually get things out that, you know, that may be more negative and may be causing us to consider that we need to put in more effort um, as opposed to just slowing down. And when we make that time to emote, we get objective about what really needs to be done. Um, And we can consider some alternative approaches. We can consider being able to to see uh, different perspectives of things. 
other than that, if we don't do that, we're experiencing anxiety. We're experiencing um, scarcity or impatience with each other, with the things that we're building, with our company, with our clients. We experience fear. Um, and more than anything, an ex- a scattered and just overwhelmed mind um, of really having so much to do or the feeling of having so much to do with so little time. So if you want to make better progress, the thing is, is to slow down. The benefits of this is that, you know, your communication and your relationships get better. Speaking, um, being able to be intentional about your speaking gets better. Uh, Listening, slowing down and listening means that you're going to process information a lot better. You're going to share things a lot better. So instead of blurting out the first thing that comes to mind, you're actually going to think about what it is that you're trying to say what it is that you're trying to what it is that you're trying to impart what value are you trying to add working through a challenge Ooh, child as an entrepreneur this is the one working through a challenge (laughs) slowing down helps you actually zoom out so that you can see the big picture shift your perspective and then problem solve from a few different angles and see which one actually works best in business a lot of times when you slow down you're able to make better sales you're able to create more without procrastination or resistance your operations get better like when I tell you slowing down means that you can actually you know work on your process of how you serve people how you serve yourself in business um and in life when overwhelmed slowing down I like to take a nap when I'm overwhelmed just so you guys know (laughs) slowing down is the best way to gain clarity in hectic and stressful times. So mindfully working and intentionally working um, with with a free feeling as opposed to feeling bogged down, feeling like you have to do more, feeling like there's, you know, so much to do in so little time. Um, And then rest gets a lot better when you slow down. I'm telling you, I like to take naps when I have to force myself to slow down. So here's what it is. Slowing down is working let's pause this for a quick second rewind doing more versus slowing down doing more means working harder feeling frustrated working even harder feeling tired drained and even more frustrated and then you put that on repeat like a hamster wheel slowing down looks like pausing and grounding yourself orienting yourself towards quality and effectiveness, doing what's needed to shift, moving forward at your best and adjusting as necessary or pivoting. (laughs) So slowing down in the moment looks like um, these things, noticing what you experience, examine um, if that's really the case or looking at the data of things, letting go, of the urge to actually do more. Busy work doesn't mean that you're actually moving the needle. Busy work is just that, it's busy work. So if it's not intentional work, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. Slowing down to reground yourself and consider the possible paths forward. Again, I can't stress enough about being able to see multiple perspectives. Priming yourself for action and then moving forward. So now that we know those, here are eight ways that you can slow down physically slow down um you can get out of your head and into your body you can recall the nature of your thoughts um you can consider alternative paths forward set a new intention write about it prime yourself for quality action or treat things as an experiment that's my favorite one and that's what i do for a lot of things so slowing down for better results actually means that you're going to stay intentional to what's important to you. You're going to focus on quality of the things that you do, not just doing more things. You're going to focus on the long term um, for your for your care and your well-being, and you're going to let go of attachments. So that's pretty much slowing. I teach this stuff through systems. So while there is a mindfulness part as a human um, being able to use systems and automation as a way to help you slow down to go farther a way to optimize um, the things that you really really need to put on repeat um, and those things that you know you want people to meet the best of you with so 
if you ever need help with that, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what to do in the description below. Um, but yeah, you should definitely slow down to go farming. That's really how businesses are built, brands are created, and um, lifelong clients, dream clients are actually called think about that let me know what you think in the comments if you haven't signed up for my newsletter you should definitely do that i do send out a newsletter for magical motivation monday um i told you i'm all about the dopamine shots so i really really love um being able to be motivated and one thing that actually motivates me to do my week is to send out a newsletter with um with thoughts like these so if you need help building your brand if you need help focusing in on your business if you need help and you just want support and a cheerleader to cheer you on through your life goals. Hi, I'm your gal. That's me. My name is Amani K. Brown, or excuse me, I am Amani K. Brown, the avant-garde of intuitive tattoo and branding, the founder of Little Ink Play Shop, where we actually work with body positivity for long-term wellness. Our tagline is that we're an empowering Kawaii anime tattoo fashion house. So we style you for long-term wellness. Um, and uh and creative self-expression that's it for this one and uh see you in the next talk bye guys always rooting for you